certainly on form to date. Main man is virtually impossible to oppose. He's walking around quietly behind the starting stalls. His stablemate King Free is drawn towards the outside. As I said earlier, Gyros is drawn right on the outside, and this may not be an advantage. The going on the outside seems to be fine for the first 600 meters, but a lot slower down the outside over the final 600 meters. Well, they're working on Main Man. They seem to have got him in, and he's the last one that will have to go in. One other to come in towards the inside. Main Man appears to be ready. All set and ready for the South African nursery futurity plate, and away they go. Certainly, Main Man got out to a pretty good start down the center of the course, and he's racing up just ahead of your affair. Over towards the outside, Gyros is very speedy. Racing in just behind Gyros is Blow the Whistle, and Dutchman is also very prominent. Down towards the left-hand side, Harry's Champ is quite speedy. Outside of Harry's Champ is Honey Bear. They're also very prominent over towards the inside, just along the outside of Fast Eagle. Racing down now towards the 600 meter mark. Down the center of the track, Gerald Turner has Main Man in the lead. Alongside a Main Man in the white noseband is Navajo Silver. Behind Navajo Silver, Lord de Grey gets a few smacks of the whip. Harry's Champ has a position about three four lengths off the leader. Gyros is under a hard drive towards the outside, and King Free has lost his position completely. It's Main Man down the center of the course who has a good advantage in the nursery. Lord de Grey is coming out after him. Gyros is racing third, and then follows Reminder. They have 150 meters to go, and Main Man has the nursery field spread gold. It's Lord de Grey trying to make a race of it, and the only filly, your affair, coming out well. But Gerald Turner and Main Man have won the nursery by two and a half lengths from Lord Lord de Grey, your affair. Gyros was fourth, and Harry's champ came in fifth. Well, there was never any doubt as to what the result of the South African nursery plate was going to be. Gerald Turner wasted no time in giving him his head right from the moment the stall gates opened. Main man, the six to ten chance, was out in front. He was kept company by Reminder and by Navajo Silver, but he powered on over the final 400 meters and he was simply too good for them today. A big race from Lord de Grey. Big race from Lord de Grey. He chased Main Man home all the way, but at the end was still three lengths back. There you can see it now. That is Main Man in picture, in the center of your picture, with the white noseband. Gerald Turner, as you can see, simply riding him with the hands. A confident display of riding, and quite justifiably so too. He knew what kind of horsepower he had underneath him, and he wasn't going to make the colt do any more than he had to. There's the slow motion replay. Down towards the left-hand side of your picture, in the white noseband, Gerald Turner and Main Man. Just along the right-hand side of Main Man, in the blinkers, that is Lord de Grey, who came home second best. And right towards the right-hand side of your screen, in fact, third from the right, that is the only filly in the race, your affair. She, too, is wearing a white noseband. She can be picked up running on strongly over the final 200 meters to finish a very creditable third. The judge has, in fact, called for a photo for the minor placing. He has, of course, declared Main Man the winner. There you can see, on the left-hand side of your picture, Main Man striding out well. General Turner simply showing him the stick to keep his mind on the business and to keep his unbeaten record intact. A winner of three out of three. And what a great horse Mr. J.P. Herald has on his hands here. Main Man justifying odds of six to ten, winning his third start in succession, Coming home, the better part of three lengths clear of Lord de Grey and the filly, your affair. There he is at the line now, just in picture. Gerald Turner giving him a pat down the shoulder, and Main Man certainly deserves a pat down the shoulder. That's Main Man having won the 81st running of the South African Nursery Futurity Plate, and the full and official result of the race has now been posted. Winner number 14, Main Man, ridden by Gerald Turner, bred by Mr. Lenny Stark, a two-year-old brown colt by Trocadero out of Madam Magic, trained by Mrs. Jean Hemming and owned by Mr. J.P. Herald.